So today we are going to see how we can print PDF in Code Igniter or create a PDF in Code Igniter. And the process is very simple. You just need F PDF library. There are various other library like TC uh, PDF and various other good libraries. Uh, we'll be taking or viewing them in later sessions, but this case or today we'll see how F PDF using F PDF we can create a PDF in Code Igniter. So for that there are certain steps you have to take. First, first of all, if you are new to Code Igniter, you have to download Code Igniter. Just download Code Igniter. Then second thing is download your FPDF and you have to create a controller file because controller is already there. What I'll say is I'll make it with you that we'll make a controller and then we will also try to make after this because controller is necessary because it is controlling them. We'll also make some other stuff which is called as because F FPDF generation and FPDF testing. For that, you need to make a file, just a PHP file, PHP for testing of PDF. Right? So let us uh, do these uh, things step by step. First of all, we'll download the Code Igniter. For that, you just have to go to your browser and then you need to say that I want Code Igniter. Right? Just download Code Igniter. Download and say code igniter. So you'll reach to this website. This is the official codeigniter.com download uh, page. This is the official website. You can download this. Download code igniter. This is very small. This is just only it is costing just 2 or 2.5 MB. So now you can download it. I have already downloaded it. You just have to press this. Okay. I I'm pressing it so it will be downloaded. But uh, it will take 2.5 MB of your space and let us see because I have already downloaded so this is being downloaded I have already had this code igniter uh, the version right now is 3.1.5 so let us have the new version and just unzip it and once it is un unzipped let us name it say CI code igniter or say CI Mm, PDF, right? CI PDF, make it small so that you know there will be no confusion. CI PDF, and uh, this is CI PDF. I'll name it as CI PDF. So we'll use this CI PDF. The name is Code Igniter 3.1.5. I'm just renaming it so that it will be easier for us to deal with it. Copy. I'll copy it and I'll go to my VAM server. You have to open the VAM server. If you are new to VAM server, just download it. Google download VAM server and go to this directory. I've already VAM server running on my system. So VAM server, XAM server, whichever you like. You just need a web server for this. Go to your www directory. And if uh, you are on XAM, XAM will take htdocs. So I'll copy this my code igniter. Now my code igniter is already there. My first step is done. Code igniter dot pdf, right? But there is a problem because in CI PDF I already have one folder, so I am going two stages. So what I am going to do is I will take all the stuff from here, paste it outside, and delete this. Why? Because I want only CI PDF inside this is the content. Okay, this is done. Now we have to download the FPDF. Let us go to download FPDF. Download FPDF. Right. Just say download FPDF. Go to any of this site. This is the official fpdf.org website. And you have to whichever version you like TGZ or zip. I'm taking 1.81 zip. So only 188 KB. So this is also done. FPDF. Let me extract it. Let me extract it for you. Okay. Extract to FPDF 181. Let me name it as only FPDF. That will be easy when we are actually dealing with it. 
so let us name it as only fpdf so i will make it fpdf but there is one more thing i have to do because in fpdf i have directly these files so no problem take it copy it and go to your code igniter folder go to your www and see where you have placed the ci pdf this is your code igniter and in the inside this you have to go to application and third party the, the first step is go to your, your website web browser where you have placed ci or code igniter go to ci code igniter we have renamed it as ci pdf go inside this go inside application go inside third party and just paste it so you have downloaded F fpdf now you have pasted fpdf right so if you see fpdf let me open it for you all this possibility coloring font margin layout version everything they have given us so you just have to use these functions directly just use this set margin function or say compression author you want to give creator you want to give any sort of uh, functionality it is there so this is how it is important and tutorial is also given if you want to uh, go through the tutorials then also you can go but let us make a very basic pdf pdf out of it for that we are already in our ci so we have to make a file let's let's make a basic file so you have to go to the controller let us go to the controller application controller because you have to make a controller for this and we'll make a file here so let me go to my notepad plus plus you have to download this notepad plus plus this is very good very good piece of text editor i will make this file and really rename it as say I'll, i have to make it as a php file so i have to go to the, the path is very important because you have to go to the controller and uh, say we are just testing it let, let us name it as fpdf say test right and we have to make it as a php file so make it as a php file okay now the php is ready for us save it so we have made a file and then i want you to write some code here but before we write a code here let me make a because we want to make a this is this already we have made fpdf test this is in the controller but what about the other stuff means the libraries because you have to generate something also you have to go to the library so let me make another file and a new file let me save it as i'm not writing anything just letting you know what files you have to make and where you have to make so go to the libraries just go to the libraries and make a file say fpdf gen generation for generating gen and say P php you have to make a php okay now php is done save it so you have made two file fpdf underscore test for controller fpdf gen in the lab because you have to activate the library also and of course you have that third you have that content in third party means you have downloaded fpdf and placed it in inside it so let us now write because this is empty let us now write first of all is you have to check this php if this is say not defined these are customary thing you have to uh, make it defined and then base path base path make it capital in the single quotes base path and then just uh, say exit exit and then say something like uh, uh, no direct script access allowed like this these are customary thing in controller so you have to do it for every other php file that you make in controller so no no access let us make it short no access and just close it using a okay now php you have to start with the question mark so that these are colored okay now this is done if not defined base path exit then no access now we will have to make a class this class is 
the same name as we have made so it should be fpdf fpdf same name same name as your php file fpdf and we are test making it fpdf test and extend it extends ci controller make it extend to ci controller so ci and controller now this is done i have to write a code here so what code will be there it's just a basic uh, public function index which will run which automatically runs so that will be public function and index and then write some code here what code will be there first we have to load the library and where we have placed the library what is the name of the library we are going to write shortly fpdf gen so i have to load the lab, this library for that i have to write dollar this then load then again an arrow and library 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 and then the name of the php file you have placed in your library folder so that will be f fpdf underscore gen and that will come inside a single code this line is done okay now second thing is you want to set the font you want to set the cell you want to give some output everything you can do everything you can do i'm just doing very basic stuff so i'm just taking the functionality very basic functionality just to just to uh, let you know how the functionality goes rest you can really try okay and second is now called fpdf now call fpdf so this will be this fpdf then you can make a cell in this cell you can write some things make it a cell and uh, say it will be some 40 say 10 and you can just go to the tutorials or the uh, various things which are given here my pdf okay so this uh, pdf will be made and my pdf will come this will be written on the pdf so you have made a cell you can make more cell and just echo something say echo like what you are going to echo because echo means you are making a making a pdf file here so this then fpdf fpdf then output now you are outputting a file now you want to name that file say output out put and then you have to name that right and for you want to download it also so we'll place a download parent also so let us make it um, pdf i made this is this will be the name of the the file so you can just change the file name as per your convenience and then comma and then d d for download capital d okay now we are done with this we have made made the controller so this will initiate the library this will just write some my pdf in in the pdf and this will download this pdf in which my pdf will be written now we'll go to fpdf gen generation generator whatever you say and just you have to make a class it will be a class and as i said there are certain things we have to do so let me copy this line and paste it here this is customary and then we'll start a class let us make a class class will be the name same same name you want to use fpdf then underscore gen gen and then so no need to extend it from anything and now we'll make a function we'll make a public function construct so this will be a constructor of this let us make public function and then underscore construct construct and then round brackets okay now what you have to do is require ones because you have to give that path you have to give that path where fpdf is stored so just say require ones 
अंडर स्कोर वंस एंड देन एप पाथ ए पी 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 ए टी एच एप पाथ देन डॉट देन इन दी सिंगल कोर्ट वॉट यू है थर्ड पार्टी यू हैव गिव दैट पाथ फोल्डर थर्ड अंडर स्कोर पार्टी देन एफ पी डी एफ एंड देन एफ पी डी एफ डॉट पी एच पी सो लेट एस सी वॉट इज द नेम सो दैट वी कैन राइट द नेम वेर वी हैव प्लेस इट वी हैव प्लेस इन दी थर्ड पार्टी एंड दिस इज एफ पी डी एफ एंड दिस वी हैव एफ पी डी एफ डॉट पी एच पी सो लेट एस नेम इट लाइक दिस एफ पी डी एफ डॉट पी एच पी ओके सो एफ पी डी एफ डॉट पी एच पी दिस इज डन देन लेट एस क्रिएट एन इंस्टेंस डॉलर पी डी एफ इज इक्वल टू न्यू पी डी एफ सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ न्यू इंस्टेंस एफ पी डी एफ क्लोज इट and using this we'll add a page we'll just add a page using this okay this you have to use now because you already made an instance so just say add page add to be in capital a d d p a g e add page close it and then say dollar ci dollar this controller which you are using so That will be your CI, CI PDF you are going to call. So we'll make it like this. We can change the name just for uh, because our name we have changed. So don't worry about that. We are going to change here. Let us understand what we are going to give. Get underscore instance, instance, and then this one we are getting an instance, and then we'll pass this PDF to that CI PDF. So now, this object should get this F P D F should get is equal to dollar this one, this one which we have created. Okay, so now we are done, but there are certain changes we are going to make, and then we'll run the program. So before we are going to run it, there is one thing which uh, I we need to give. this is very important we have to set the font because uh, font is important for that we'll use this this fpdf and then set font function so set font set font and then you can give any font you want you can give vardana arial courier anything so we'll give arial we'll give arial Arial, and then the next one is you want to make it bold. Make it bold. Give B capital B, capital B. Okay, so I just write B, and then uh, give the size. What size you want? Say I want some twenty, thirty size. So you you'll see this written my PDF in Arial bold, and the size will be thirty. So it will be quite large, and this the name of the file will be PDF I made dot PDF. So just save it. Just save this, and then let us go to our browser. And in this browser, let me type because my path is local host. Okay, local host. Then we'll take the CI PDF. That will be CI underscore PDF PDF, and then we have index dot PHP. I have not removed the index dot PHP. So if you have removed it, don't worry about that. Index dot PHP, just give PHP, and then because the name of our controller is FPDF underscore test, so you have give you have to give FPDF underscore test. Let us test it. So now you have a file here. Let us see the file. So this is the PDF file which is just uh, downloaded, and this is my file. Okay, this is my file which I have just made. So it is a very basic file. Now you can just go to your FPDF test and you can do whatever and whichever way you want to present your file. Everything is available. So this is how you make a PDF from a coding writer. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.